Palmetto Sex, Felly. About to get Lil Wayne on the phone right now. But before I call him up, listen, don't forget, I got your paid dues festival tickets coming up in a minute. And I got your tickets to the Dub Show. When you get the Dub Show tickets, I am going to qualify you for $5,000. Song of the hour you're listening for, Kendrick Lamar, Poetic Justice. Coming up in the next 10, 15 minutes. Right now, let's call Lil Weezy. We got to have... We got to have a little conversation. Yeah. Wheezy. What's good? That's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, let me, just, let me start off by first of all saying it's good to hear your voice given what's been, you know, going on in the recent past. Yeah, thank you, bro. Appreciate that. And I, w- I was real happy when, when you were going through that to get a text back from you because... I didn't know when I, when I texted you asking, you know, if you were good. And this might have been what two days after all this went down in the hospital. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know if I was gonna get a, a response from you. So when I did, I was I was very relieved, man. And I appreciate you hitting me back. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. So before we get in, you know, get in deep, so to speak. I, I, you got a new album out. I'm not a human being, part two. Yeah. Talk about this album, man. Uh, it sucks. Um, <laughs> I hate it. It's a but it's it's a, it's a new album. It's for the people. It's just I am not a human being too. Well, I'm a, <laughs> I'm really surprised to hear you say that you hate the album. Nah, I'm joking, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm proud of everything I do, man. Everything I do and everybody I do. But um, it's an awesome album, man. I took my time on it, and you know, I mean, just the thoughts from the left side of my brain. I just put them together and made an album of it. And then, you know, later comes the rest. I'm, I'm still laughing right now because you threw me for a loop right now. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get busy with one of the songs on the album. Actually, I hate this song more than any song on the whole album. Matter of fact, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you're welcome. It. Uh, this is Rich as f- featuring Two uh, Chains. Yeah, I hate that song. I hate that guy, Two Chains. I hate everything about this song. Play that raggedy ass song. And I hate you too, Lil Wayne, and I hate Power I of hate Six. You too, <laughs> Let's go. AK on my nightstand, right next to that Bible. But I swear with these 50 shots, I'll shoot it out with five. What up? 5106 with my man Shelly. You know what it is. Let's get it. I am not a human being, part two. Now, you did the first album, um, coming up with this title. What do you exactly mean when you say you are not a human being? Uh, just, you know, I just like to be different, man. That's all. That's all that actually. That's all. No, no more, no less. Just meaning I'm different. I love to be different. I think we all should try to be different in some way because our our whole lives we are we are always told that we all told that we we are all equal you know we are all one and we are all equal we are all part of some community but you know you know the reality of that so therefore I do too so I am not a human being part two well you are definitely different because you're from New Orleans uh, you you're in Miami a lot and you're a Laker fan yeah that's pretty different <laughs> it, it is pretty different now. Um, now, by the way, your team in New Orleans has the weirdest name in the world. It was it was already weird for me because I was used to the Charlotte Hornets, and then they became the New Orleans Hornets, and now they're the New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah. And I I can't get over here. And I don't understand how they're gonna say, "Let's go Pelicans." <laughs> oh, anyway, man, to speak up, my speak up. Of it, that is our state, and I, that's the state bird. It rep- that, that's actually the state bird. So, and uh. The daughter of the owner, that was her idea to um, rename the team, and that's what she went with, the New Orleans Pelican. Well, in California, it's a bear, but I, I don't know if we would be right being the L.A. Bears on any team. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're a Laker fan. Yes, I am. This is my question to you. Lakers, will they will they, uh, will they? they be in the playoffs this year, Wayne? I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure they will. 24 won't let them down. Are you going to be able to go back to another Miami game? Uh, probably not. But, you know, there's a lot of other things I can't do neither, so it's all good. Just chalk that one up on the list of something else chalk you can't that, do. Yeah, I chalk that one up. That's another one. <laughs> I uh, I saw Wayne, ladies and gentlemen, over uh, this past summer, actually, at a Heat game. 
Um, I was out there with my fam bam, and my son was super excited to, to, to meet Wayne. I took him down there, and we ended up going to the studio later that night and, and hanging out with Wayne. And, uh, and that was a, a, a super-duper exciting moment for my son, so I appreciate that. Oh, good. Let's play another song off the album. This is one of my favorite, Love Me. Feature in Future It's on Lil Wayne's new album I'm Not a Human Being Part 2 um, Is this yeah. also another song That you hate? Nah, I actually love this one I really do I'd have to agree with you On that one Yeah, I do <laughs> Power 106 Lil Wayne's with me, y'all Let's go I'm gonna get y'all To the crib, LA Come on Yeah Power 106 Valley Lil Wayne with me On the check-in What's poppin'? Wayne's new album is out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Not a Human Being, part two. Go cop that. Um, talk a little bit about this album, man. Was there anything in particular that you had in mind? Did you just go in and record songs? Did you have, like, a theme? What's the deal? Um, Like I said, it's just the thoughts that's on the left side of my brain. What I mean by that is, um, obviously, when, when, I'm, when I'm making my music, I know what I'm making it for and how I'm making it and who I'm making it for things like that and there's a time there's a period when I can just let all that go and just make the music for whoever and and meaning whoever likes it whoever likes it whoever don't like it is for you and that's the period I was in for that album I hate it personally I, I, I actually hate it as well I, just, I, mean, I, I probably hate you a little more than I hate the album but it's all good it's just, no, I'd have to agree, man I'm glad you didn't make uh, the, the top 10 MCs MTV's uh, top 10 list personally yeah, I didn't even check the top ten list, but I'm glad I didn't make it me, but because I don't need to pay a check after me anyway. So, <laughs> right, I think you are definitely one of the worst MCs that uh, that has ever <laughs> been in, done it in the game. Um, on that note, Kendrick Lamar, <laughs> on the other hand, repping the West Side, is the number one pick on that list. Now, you said you don't know who's on that list. I'm gonna break it down. Kendrick's number one, Two Chains okay. number two. Rick Ross, okay. Nas, then Drake, number five. Big Sean. Okay. Kanye West. ASAP Rocky, number eight. Okay. Futures, number nine. And Meek Mill's, number ten. Cool. Why did you not make that list, man? I, I really, honestly, when I saw this list, I was a little uh, I was a little hurt. Um, I probably pissed some people off at MTV or something. I don't know. Do you like I'm, MTV? Um, I like ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot to ask you, who's going to make it to the Final Four this year, uh, NCAA? Yo, man, it's really hard to tell with this year, man. Like, my picks was like, my picks are already out. So my, my my bracket all messed up, so I really don't know to tell you the truth. But if I had to answer that, I'd probably say those Florida boys going to get there. And I think those Miami boys going to get there, something like that. But uh, but you never know with this, this year. It's going to be interesting, man. I, I care way more about the Lakers right now. I ain't going to lie. You, who, you, who you telling, man? So, I got some big questions for Wayne in a minute. Okay. Right now, let's take it back a little bit, man. Felly, Lil Wayne. And by the way, don't forget, I got your Dub Show tickets to see Big Sean on the way. Big Sean, Tiger, B.O.B., and you're going to qualify for $5,000. All right, I'm in the mix. You know the station. Power 106, man. Power 106, Felly. Rocking with my boy Lil Wayne on the phone. I'm right here. Wayne, so here's the deal, man. Yeah. You went into the hospital. Yeah. Everybody freaked out because, you know, of course, TMZ is right about everything. I appreciate that concern, bro. And, you know, I was really glad when, when you hit me back. We I touched on that earlier. And and I'm yeah. not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Uh I, when I texted you to ask if you were okay, I really didn't think you were gonna hit me back. And and if for any other reason, because I knew you were probably getting a million texts, and even if you were okay, you were probably just going to, you know, ignore it. Right. And um, first of all, that says a lot about who you are. I was about to say, you know who I am. I ain't going to ignore nothing, man. So what exactly happened? Because nobody has has got it from the horse's mouth at this point. Um, I know Birdman went on our sister station, Hot 97, with, with Angie Martinez. And, and talked a little bit about this, but out of your mouth, what exactly happened here? Thing is, the thing is, man. Um, the bad news is, I, I'm I'm an epileptic, so I'm I'm, a, I'm prone to seizures. 
Like this is my this isn't my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh season. I've had a bunch of seasons. Y'all just never hear about them. But um, this time it got real bad because I had three of them in a row, and on the third one, my heart my heart rate went down to like thirty percent. Basically, I could have died. So that was why I was so serious. But the reason being for the seizures is just plain stress, no rest, and overworking myself. And that's just typical me, though. I can relate a little bit. My my dad actually has uh, seizures, and, and my my uh, younger sister does as well. You know, I know how that is. My dad has had some problems with that over the years, and thank God, you know, he's he's been able to be. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, I got my, my people around me. I have I've actually had some having so much. They already know what to do. You know, what I mean, they already instructed. They already know how to handle it. Some certain times, I don't even go to the hospital, but this time it was real bad because. Like I said, it was three in a row, and I've never had three back to back like that. So, and the third one was so bad. And I live in the hills in LA. So the reason why it was bad was that I live all the way at the top. So you know how hard it is getting down those hills. So you know what I mean. That was so. That was was so scary about it. I also live in the hills, but I only live halfway up. That's what's up. A matter of fact, I hate where you live. As a matter of fact, I hate where I live because they got mountain lions and all that type of stuff up there. And I'm from the south. We don't really be dealing with all that, man. <laughs> did, did you say mountain hyenas? I said mountain lions, no. <laughs> <laughs> you said oh, mountain man. hyenas. <laughs> so, are you upset with TMZ? Um, no, nah, that's that's what they do. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what they do. I. I I can't be upset at that. I get upset at my kids when they do things that I tell them not to do. Uh, I can't get upset at TMZ for doing what they do. They're going to probably come out tomorrow and say something else about somebody else that ain't true. So that's what they do. I mean, I don't think if, if they tell the truth, that the truth isn't good, good enough for them. So they got to twist everything up. So you know what it is. So basically, you ain't got no worries. At all. Lil Wayne, with me, Felly Fell. More next right here on Power. I'm going to get y'all home, L.A. Come on. Lil Wayne on the phone with me, Power 106. He has no worries, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) He is alive. Yes, I am. Hey, man, first of all, thank you, bro, because, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. We talked about this earlier. You haven't done, this is your first interview since your uh, incident in the hospital. Exactly. And I'm sure everybody and their mama has been trying to get an interview and, 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 and hear from you. Um, actually, I don't know. You just, you just, I mean, you know the person that texted me and said, I let me hit you up, but I let me, you know, be my man. So it's, I said, well, it's cool, whatever. That is amazing. <laughs> I mean, you know what it is, man? I think people are scared to text you. I, Let me tell you something, I y'all. Think, I, I think they don't like me, bro. I don't understand how somebody can not like you. I don't know, man. I think I, I think you know, they don't like me for some reason. But I like when people not like me because it gives gives me a reason to not like them. I mean, people don't like Kanye West, but I don't put you in that same category of like people, you know, don't like uh, Lil Wayne. Oh no, that's my dude, yay. Yeah. yeah, that's my homie too. But I, I understand sometimes how he could piss people off. I now I will say this. I will say this, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. When I saw the video of you. Uh, talking about Bosch and, and a situation with Bosch's wife. You know, I mean, I laughed at it, not because I was any disrespect to Bosch, but I just, it was funny to hear you say that because it was, <laughs> it was out of nowhere. But I did, I did kind of, I could understand how people would say, man, Wayne is crazy. Why is he doing that? Was that just, I, I chalked it up as Wayne is on one right now. Maybe if he had to take it back, he would have took it back. I don't know. Um, I'm one of them guys where, you know, man, you deal with whatever happens or how it comes or whatever happens. So I wouldn't take it back because I'm a real, I'm a real, you know, we don't take nothing back. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I did, like, I, I did clear up a little something. Else. I cleared it up a little bit afterwards, you know what I mean? I did feel a little too much. But like I said, we all do that. I'm human sometimes. Well, your album says different. I say sometimes, n- <laughs> Hey, give me a record to play off this album, man. One of your favorites, even though you hate the album. I'm Not a Human Being Part 2 is in stores now. One of Lil Wayne's favorites on the album is... Trippy Kit. Trippy Kit. Yeah. All right, we're going to play it right now, and then you're going to explain to me what the hell Trippy Kit is. Okay. Next on Power 106. We, we trippy, man. 
Power to Sex Valley with Lil Wayne. I'm not a human being. Part two. The album's out right now, and the name of that song is Trippy Kits. One of uh, Wayne's favorite songs on the album. What exactly? Explain Trippy Kit. Um, actually, Juicy J made that term up. He just sent me the song, sent me the beat, and that was the name of the song. So I just went by whatever he says. <laughs> Trippy Kit. <laughs> Juicy J, Juicy J is the only one that would come up with some shit like that. You, I think, you know, that's his thing. I think he always said, you know, he's a trippy king and all that type of thing. His trippy is his thing, so that's his little thing. So I went with it, man. It's all good. Juicy got some crazy beats, and I love Juicy verses, man. So that's why I went with that one. Juice Man, what up? Yo, uh, Juicy's about to do a club with me soon, Wayne. You got to come out here and rock with me, man. Next time you're out here, you just come Hell to the club. Yeah. We gotta have some vibe. I mean, are you are you out here right now? No, I'm oh, not. Oh, you're in Miami, I'm in, duh. I'm in Miami, yeah, man. I really wanted to get Wayne up here in person, but he he did tell me he was in Miami. I'll be, I be actually be there. Um, I'll probably be there this, I'll be there this weekend because my homies, got out my homies, that Wish Skate Team, they premiering their new video, Um, I think, on the 30th. Like, I'm going to be there to be, see that, so I'll be there. I, I'm out of town half the weekend, but we're, we're going to make that happen, and, uh, I appreciate you, bro, man, and I and I'm I'm really glad that you're doing great, man, and uh, you know I'm glad we can we can lay all these rumors to rest. Wow, and man, it's all good. I'm glad. So you're 100 percent now. Yeah, I'm 100. Good, Lil Wayne, ladies and gentlemen, go get his new album. I am not a human being. Part two. He hates yeah, that man. album. I hate that album. You can buy <laughs> it and you can hate it too. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Love, bro. I'm gonna talk to you soon, pal. Love, man. Shout out Baker Skate Team. Shout out Deathwish Skate Team. Shout out 500 Skate Team. You know what it is. Power 106. One.